Okay, Pisces, I decided to do your reading over again with a different spread than everybody else, because the reading I had for you before was really... Downer? Is downer a good word to use? It, it felt like a downer. It felt like I took a drug or something, and like it was just slowing me down, and it was like, mm, that doesn't feel right, Pisces. Oh my god, so there's this dog I really want, and its name is Jasper, <laughs> and I love it. It's like a nervous little wreck, and it's just like, oh my god, dude, all you want is to be loved, and it's like, I love you, and it's like, I can't have him, and it's like, aw. Like, he'd be perfect. Like, I would totally take that dog. I would love him. He'd be my dude. We go on car rides together and shit, man. Like, that'd be awesome. Looking for luckies. That's okay. So let's see, Pisces. Mind you, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Um, this is for the sign the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, you just boop your nose away. It goes. No point worrying about shit. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your damn business. But then, what else will we have to talk about? Right, right. And we need to know shit. Um, let us see. I'm gonna get back in the personals again. So, look in the description box if you're interested. That kind of deal, right? Mm. Thoughts and prayers. Oh my god, Pisces. Why thoughts and prayers? It feels like something isn't healing the way it's supposed to. Someone isn't manifesting what they're supposed to. And someone possibly isn't listening to the higher calling like they're supposed to either. Thoughts and prayers for that person. They're a hot mess. You got the Eight of Cups reverse, the Eight of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Swords, and the Full reverse. <laughs> definitely thoughts and prayers on this, because that's definitely just the element. Like, that's the only almost positive in this card here. Thoughts and prayers. Someone's really thinking and wishing and hoping and praying and loving and missing. Yeah, you know, I don't sing all fucking day like that. So let's see. Oh, my eyeball. That's what I get for my eyeballs open, but I almost burnt my nose last time. Hmm. I feel like someone's already walked away, but they're looking back like, is there any reason for me to come back to this shit, really? Because I don't feel it anymore. You know. We got the Eight of Pentacles up here where something feels like it isn't building, or whatever was built was just me, Like, gotten rid of, like, trash a little bit. Someone doesn't feel like a victor, or they can feel like they have the energy of someone who should be victorious. I think they're a little bit worried about that, because someone's over here being like, what should I, why am I coming back to this, right? And then we got thoughts and prayers. Just like, what is this person going to do without their own personal guidance? Maybe someone's turning to the Lord. For their problems. You know? Uh. Well, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. But seriously, like, your last reading just had me so fucking dark and depressed and sad. And it was just like, why are you losing such hope, man? Like, what the fuck? Like, what happened to you? Like, it was sad. It was like you were watching an abused animal or something go back to its owner. And it was like, really... But it was almost like it wasn't happening either, so. Not yet, anyway. Who knows if you're right in the future. But let's see. This Eight of Cups where someone feels like, you know, fuck it. Why am I here? I already walked away from this shit once when I cared, and now I'm looking back and I don't care. I guess healing with a star over something that they regret happened? When it came to two people separating with the lovers reverse, could have been with a Gemini right here, also an Aquarius. They might be questioning, like, should I go back to this? Because I don't feel anything, like, it's not that important. Maybe they even walked away once the cups were empty, too. They might even be looking at over all of this, trying to figure out what to make of all of this shit, too. They might be at a situation where, like, you know... 
you're trying to figure out their life or something like that, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Could be you, could be a person you're dealing with. Eight of Pentacles Reverse. It feels like something that was built just went to shit. Um, third party situation that could have led to a breakup or there could have been an addiction as well. Ew, someone might have, like, made some flying monkeys to get information. Not a bad thing, though. Page of Swords right here. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Queen of Cups. Cancer, if I see Scorpio, that could be you. Let us see here. Third party situation or overindulgences. Or people just talking shit. I mean, that could be it too, especially with the Page of Swords. Someone could be like going around gossiping and shit about somebody. Either about this Page of Swords or to this Page of Swords about this Queen of Cups right here. Someone could be related information. Possibly to break some situation up between certain people, but I'm not sure. Mm. Thoughts and prayers. What's this about with the Nine of Swords? Someone's coming in for that booty. Fire sign. Leo Sag Aries, possibly. More like, I, it could be an Aries, honestly, because that's like... Definitely charge with my dick, you know. They're out of patience. When it comes to something kind of betrayal or torture or something they've bound themselves in really more with this deck. Uh, Ten of Swords. Are you, is somebody trying to take action? Could be a Sagittarius. They might be coming in because they're just done with whatever it is they're feeling or dealing with. Are you worried that someone's going to find you or someone else, Pisces? Are you afraid they're going to charge in for a fucking argument? Are you afraid they're going to yell at you? Because I'll, I'll, I'll beat their ass if they do. Hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, there's definitely this sense of, like, somebody wants to come in, to rush in, because they're out of patience when it comes to a situation where they feel bound. But this is a thought in the prayer. This is somebody almost hoping for shit out of a form of anxiety with the Nine of Swords. Uh, almost like desperation. That's kind of crazy. Full reverse. Someone doesn't feel victorious as much as they feel like a failure. They need to let their guard down and tell their posse to back the fuck up. Nine of Wands right here. Or they could be paranoid trying to make a charge because they don't really know what to do. About a King of Swords. But they are waiting to say something. Definitely could be air that you're dealing with, Pisces and Cross Watchers. My skin has been itching. I've been using lotion and shit, but it still itches and I don't know why. It's like everywhere. I don't know if it's because it's becoming warmer or what, but it will. It'd be okay. So let's see. Over here, this Eight of Cups reverse, right? Someone, I feel like someone's done, but they're just trying to figure out what to do after all this shit. Because I feel like with the star, they're healing from it, or they're still healing. It's just the emotional attachment they're trying to get the last little bit of, you know. They want to talk to somebody. But that person's extremely guarded. Nine of Wands again. Someone's extremely guarded that they want to talk to and open up to. I think this person isn't going to do that. Because they're definitely hanging on to something. That should be dead a long time ago. Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, someone picked up something that they already knew, but this it could be you, Pisces, definitely for sure, especially with the um, High Priestess. It's like someone's getting hung up on something, somebody's getting distracted or whatever, and it's hard for them to let, to let go of the things that they want to let go of, even with enough time, right? Might have gained a third monkey on your back or something. Yeah. 
that's likely over time. And nothing's going to come of it either, it seems like. The person who's staying guarded wants to hang on to something while the other person wants to express something to them. Hmm. Either you want to tell somebody something, Pisces, or they want to tell you something. One of the two, and I don't think that they can. Either because this person's hard-headed or they just don't listen, I can't tell. But it's one of the two. Uh, let's see. Hard-headed. <laughs> one of the two. Let's see, Three of Cups, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. Someone might get dropped because of the shit. Someone might lose their um, status. Possibly a King of Wands right here. He's reversed and he's a person who's crushing shit. Hmm, interesting. We got fire in here somewhere and the fire sign is like, the fire energy here is, like, kind of hostile. Okay, it's pretty hostile, honestly. Especially with this Ten of Swords right here. It's like, I, 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 someone's impatient to cause betrayal of some sorts, or, like, cause some problems, maybe? But this, but someone gets dropped because there's this King of Wands here who's kind of, like, harsh with shit. But then expects hugs after? Might be a Leo. But there's definitely a lot of fire here. Like... Someone loses their status because they crush somebody and then expects hugs from that person afterwards, I feel like. She's in the same location as Lizard, you know? Alright, Nine of Swords, thoughts and prayers with Knight of Wands, Temperance Reverse, Ten of Swords. Someone just is done with carrying this burden. They don't want to pick it up and be like, I'm going to put it up right. I just need the naps. I need a naps. I need to stop worrying about this shit. This empress right here. Could definitely be Aries, also Taurus, or Libra. But they can't seem to bury something right here either. Ten of Swords reverse. Something won't get buried here. It has something to do with an empress energy. Almost like a feminine. You were the best I ever had. Yeah. Okay. Pisces, are you like like in, in, in a tug of war with somebody over a person? Particularly a feminine energy right here. Because both the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress are both able to do whatever. Fuck, they're both holding their shit in the same position. It's just, this bitch is in the past looking at what the fuck that she had potential to give. And this bitch is over here just like living the best life with a row of ducks. She's got all her ducks in a row. It seems like this person is really important. Down below with, uh, what the fuck was this? The full reverse? I feel like someone's really cowardly. Like they got the Nine of Wands reversed. I feel like that's paranoia and having people back that paranoia because they don't know what to do by what the fuck they want to say. Yet there are options here with the Seven of Cups. Like, it's, like this person has potential. It's, it's, like it's not like it's not going to happen. Like, they have options to take. Unfortunately, every time they take... They pick the shitty... The pretty... Okay, they, this person... Oh my god, please, thank you. This person, right, has the, uh, picks the shiniest, prettiest shit. You know, like, there's plenty of shit in this image, right? But they take the snake for wisdom and jewels. Like, I want to be wise about money, not wise about, like, why they're, like, about other things. But jewelry and what to do with the jewelry. But unfortunately, every time they take options that are the most lustrous and seem like the best option in their head, which, mind you, it's because you have wisdom doesn't mean you know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, they play themselves. You play yourself, you know? Like, they got all these options, and then they keep fucking them themselves over. You know, causing a halt to occur rather than actually trying to move forward and take action in the situation. This person's kind of lazy. And they're not bright. 
Yeah, they were trying to get a connection here. One more. Ah, Manifester. They kind of played it on themselves. I don't know if they did, meant to do it on purpose, though, because it's not like the um, Magician's Reverse. But I also feel like it's kind of like, you know, someone wanted to play a hero and save someone from their own mental issues, too. But it's like this Magician kind of caused some situation to happen. Like, does this dude who pulled the guy off the horse went to the guy's bitch and then gave her hugs? It's just like, it's gonna be okay, baby. And all of a sudden, like, they're just banging the night away. You know, like, that could happen. That could totally happen. Alright, I'm gonna pull three advice cards for you. Since I'm doing this such a short one. Let's see. Pisces and Cross Watcher. Da 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 da. There's a lover's reverse here. So, yeah. So, yeah, they might have. Whoever this is might have definitely broke up. And then here's the chariot. This card freaks me out because I don't know if this dude's coming or going. It looks like it's coming forward, but I'm not really sure. But it's very. The movement is chaotic. Frizzle my nizzle. Mm. Well, someone's not going to get at rest as a martyr, regardless. Like a sacrifice for nothing. There's going to be a split up somewhere, and then someone's going to try to move forward. I, it could be a water sign, too, a cancer. And it's going to be the sensation of, like, you know, you martyred yourself for nothing. No one remembers your name or some shit, which I don't know if that's... I Like, honestly, Pisces, I, I, like, you have not really been in this reading at all. Like, I don't think this is you. But I'm not sure who this is. But it's like, there's going to be a separation here. There's going to be a need to move forward. I think there's going to be a need to understand that, like, it didn't, like, if you were going to martyr yourself, there are people who do that almost every day, and they don't get remembered. Mm. That one kind of creeps me out, too. But, that's beside the point. Pisces, that was your reading, so... If you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe because this is pretty much nearly as dark as the last time i read for you guys i'm not sure it just put me in, puts me in a weird mood right now I'm not sure what the fuck it is but i will see you guys later i love your faces you enjoy your day bye bye ah mouse where is my mouse there it is